Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char. How are you guys doing this beautiful Friday? It is a hazy day today. I always like to start off with the weather with you guys. So far, it's not that hot other than me moving around and my body temperature um, being up because I have to go to Honda today, y'all. I have a 2014 Honda. Well, actually, it's my son's car. He has a 2014 Honda, and you guys, the starter was tripping, and he called and was like, look, um, the starter's tripping. So come to find out, they have to do a recall. And they said it's something electrical. So I'm headed there and then after that, I'm going to, I need to go still get my glasses readjusted. I really do think that these lenses are too heavy. And then after that, um, I'm gonna get to the Sugar Fina, you guys. We're going to the Sugar Fina store today. And I'm so excited because they gave me a birthday thing and I have a, a birthday coupon and I have a free birthday cube. So I'm going there today. So I'm gonna carry you guys. Well, take you guys, not carry you. That'll be a heavy load. I'm gonna take you guys to the Sugar Fina store. Once we get there, um, I'll start filming again. So that might be in about, a, well, it's no time on here. You guys just get what you get whatever but anyway so as soon as i get to the sugar phoenix store i'm going to start filming again you guys i'm so excited okay and i don't know which mall i'm going to today it could be the um um santa monica or uh fall not fallbrook santa monica or the grove so i don't know which one but you guys we had a fire yesterday and just look at the sky everything just looks real hazy anyway that's not nice that's not good for breathing but anyway okay so as soon as we get to sugar fina i'll start filming again you guys stay tuned and i'll see you soon look at the cute little eateries crafted burgers and beer it's so cute over in here i think this is los feliz the community of los feliz but they got cute little places to eat indian food and it's really really cute so Sioux Plantation, and it's beautiful. I love this one. I hope it looks good inside as it is. That's a Baja Fresh. Oh, Sioux Plantation is right here. So we'll be in there in a minute. All right, I'll see you guys when we get inside. So okay, you guys, we're at Sioux Plantation. And this plate is a little fattening more than the other one because it's Friday, so I kind of pick out. So this is that. Cream of broccoli. This is the chili, turkey chili, and all the fixings. And then this is my son's plate. He's got potatoes. And he's got chicken and rice this time. And also, that's my sister's plate. And this is mine. Mine's plate always looks better than everybody's. Mm -hmm. Her plate always looks better than everybody's. And we also did like, you can do the root beer float. So that's what we chose to do for drinks. All right, so we're about to eat this and then next up, sugar cream. See you soon. So you guys, we are in the beautiful Santa Monica. We have made it. And it is quite busy, all these people here. So they're inside of Nordstrom's. So the entrance to Nordstrom's is not over here. The entrance to Nordstrom's is not over here. It's in Nordstrom. But where is Nordstrom's? Okay, y'all. I'm filming. Yes. We're at, we're in Santa Monica right now. So I'm trying to find Sugar Fina, but they said it's inside Nordstrom's, but here we go. That's true religion. And that's Cheesecake Factory up there, which is really nice. Oh, look at him. Y'all, look, stop. What is that? Like, what was that? Did you see that? Oh, second level? Oh, Louis Vuitton. I don't have time to go in there now. Pinch's taco. Okay, so let's see. What did she say once you get to the top? Where is okay, it? Okay, you're inside Nordstrom's. You need to get inside. Where is Nordstrom's? Oh, okay. All right, you guys, so I'm headed off. But look how pretty that is. It's a nice mall to come to when you're walking on the outside, you guys. Really pretty. 
And this is this Swarovski store. Look at that. Swarovski, whatever you call it. But isn't that pretty? It's really pretty. Art of shaving? Yes, you do need to go in there. Oh my gosh, how cute is that dog? He is so adorable. Boy or girl? A boy. A boy, he is so cute. Can I just see his little face? Hi, cutie. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, y'all know when I see a dog, I go crazy. I'm so, okay, you guys, so I'm so bummed. But anyway, this is the Sugarfina in Santa Monica. And the main store is in Beverly Hills. So we will be going there. I just want to show you guys what these look like. The little cubes are so cute. Like all of these little candies are just adorable. These are olives. Don't they look like they got chocolate coat? And look at this is candy too. Those are so pretty. And the boxes are really pretty. And you can get like these sets of different boxes. Look at this set right here. They're really, really pretty. Some of these are from like these right here. I'm gonna get these, which is the champagne berries, which is what they're popular about. Contemplating on these chocolates. They're the gold covered chocolates. And I want, I want something more tangy. So this is lemon cello. I'm trying to see these. Lemon cello cardinal. And let me see, they're from, these are from Germany too. And let me see, what are they? I'm trying to see what they are, you guys. Oh, it has alcohol in it. But we're gonna see, I don't know. Maybe I'll get these two. You're just gonna get those? So we're gonna look around and see. And once I figure out what I pick, you guys, look at this box. How pretty is that? And then look at this one. These are gift boxes that you can do. Cute gift boxes. And then this one. It's so pretty. And that too. Okay, you must candy. So I'm gonna see what I'll get and I'll share you guys with you later. Okay. Okay, let's go inside. See what they have in here. So this is Lush again. Lush. It's pretty packed in here. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we can find you guys in here. Look at these right here. I'm gonna get one of these today. How's their facial stuff? Good. Yeah. The facial stuff, I think, is up here in the front. I think I'm gonna get. I want something that smells good, though. These are cute. I have one of those. Which one was the one? Oh my goodness, that one smells incredible. Okay, so this one is this one. So this one is called, well here it goes. And it's 675, it's the lemongrass one. So this is for skin lemongrass. So I'm gonna get one of these definitely. Here. Yeah. gonna get in the refrigerator. That's the bubble bath. That's the bath oil, luxury bath oil. Smell it. That's crazy, I ain't never seen this one. This is the one I have at home. That's the one. <laughs> oh my okay, goodness. So, all right, I want to get some. So, so we, you want to put one of these in? These two are inside. Smell that green one. So this is what we have so far, y'all. Smell the green one. Oh my goodness. Right. Right. So you like that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, it was a little one. Seemed like they. This one. <gasps> Get it, get it, get it, get it. We're gonna have to get two, okay? Right. Oh my god. <laughs> right, y'all. This you one's just insane. put them in the basket like that? Oh, you know what? Here's some baskets, some bags right there. Okay, put two of them in there. You guys, this is bubble gum and it smells just like bubble gum. But we're getting this one. Oh my god. Which is that one right there. And that's that one. Let's see what this one smells like. This one is so pretty. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, this one smells good too. Smell it. Oh, that smells soft. And it and it has it's pretty colors. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this is called ocean salt. Yeah. This salt. is a self-preserving formula. And you can put it on your face? Yeah. Okay, so that's that right there. You need salt. Um, it's almond oil and oh, mango butter. Oh, I love almond butter. anything. And mango butter? Coconut oil and Ooh. There's some lime juice. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I know. She's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels amazing and it yes. smells delicious. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this one you can use face and body. The mm -hmm. other one, the Able one Sunder skin, you can use this, like face and body. Also, okay. one that uses scales. This one looks like it's more creamy. It, it is a little bit. Yeah, it is. This is the mango okay. and avocado in there. It has yeah. avocado. Yeah. Avocado? Oh, okay. Like I think it's this one. Water. What are those black seeds? What is that? Um, these are little lavender pieces oh, left over that. from the oh, other cleanser we tried. Okay. Just save in water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char. Okay, I hope everything is going well with you guys over this weekend. It is burning up here in Southern California. However, it is in the 80s, not 105 degrees. So that is a little bit more better. But right now I am melting. So if you see any sweat, y'all, it's because it is burning up here. Okay, so you guys, my sister came in Thursday. I am so excited about that. And um, we have just been doing a little traveling over the last past two days. So when I say I'm going to come home and do the haul, y'all, forgive me, because it was too late. And I just was like, you know what, I'm going to have to do this on another day. So today, I come to you with just a small 99 cent store haul and a Sugarfina. We're going to talk about Sugarfina, okay, and the uh, Lush haul here. So let me start off with Lush because there are some items in here that do belong in the refrigerator and they can melt you guys saw that if you looked at my other lush videos the one that i showed you guys and the bag was completely melted yes so i'm starting off with these today the one um for those of you who know what i'm talking about um let me show you guys the bag now it's called nothing to hide and nude awakening but i really wish they would have kept that beautiful black bag from um, the last time I went. Those bags were so beautiful, but I guess they change it up, so that's a good thing. All right, so you guys, let me start off with this little thing here. If you look on my video, you will see, this is called Mango Something. It's Mango, but if you look on the video, you will see the name of it, because I did show it. You guys, this right here is ridiculous with the scent. It is insane. The smell of this, oh my gosh. It is so good. So you guys look on the video and you'll see, I know it's called mango something and it is on the video. Okay. So check that out. Last time I showed this was completely melted. And when you put it in the tub, it completely goes everywhere. It melts so nicely. And it just, you just feel like you, your skin is getting nourishment. That's what I love about this so much. All natural. And that's what I love about Lush. Okay. So that one needs to go in the refrigerator as soon as possible because it will melt. The next one, I did get another it's a rose macaroon you guys insane that's like a bubble bath bar like you stick this in and just put it in and it's like bubbles will come up but you guys oh i so i have two of these um i'm just finishing up on the other one because i take off little bits of it and um if you look and say oh but it has sparkles on it you guys uh, the glitter is made of seaweed so don't worry it did not come from michael's it is seaweed made glitter okay Oh, it smells so good. If you look at the video, you will see the name of this also. It's like a rosé macaroon. Um, this one is. Okay, and then we have here. Um, oh, so if you look on the video, my sister is getting a sample made. This one's called Ocean Sea Salt, you guys. 
and it is good for the face and the body. I did use it. My sister don't know, but I used a little bit of it the other day. Let me tell y'all. See, you have to keep it in the refrigerator. It moved over to the side. I remember one time I used a scrub on my face and literally the, within like a few hours later, I can tell I had like dry spots and I really had a lot of red all around here. This bad boy, when it says for the face and it's safe, y'all, my face felt so good after I used this. So it's the Ocean Sea Salt and they did have another one. Um, you can see that in the video, but this is the one we chose and so far so good. This is a very good Ocean Sea Salt face and body scrub. Okay, so that's going to go in the refrigerator. All right, and what we have here is, oh, y'all, y'all see the name of it, you got to go on the video because I don't remember the names of these products. I wish they had a name of each item. But this one was lemongrass. I do remember this one said lemongrass. Oh, I just got home. Y'all excuse me. Oh, that was horrible. Anyway, some of that got on my lip. But anyway, it's all natural, thank God. But anyway, this is the lemongrass um, bath bomb. When I tell y'all, this smells just incredible. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, so my sister got this one. And I'm going to go into another one we have here. This is last but not least. I don't know if y'all remember on the last one. If you don't, those of you who are new to my channel, go to my last Lush um, video and you will see this one. This has flowers on the outside and in the inside as it melts, hearts show up. And it is the cutest thing. Not only that, it smells very good. And what I love about Lush is that they make things that are very cute, uh, pleasing to the eyes, but not only that, it's very healthy for your skin. It's all natural, vegan products. So that's what I love about this company, you guys. So make sure you check this out. This is Lush. And I will be going there periodically throughout the summer because I love their products. I do love Bath and Body Works. However, Lush pulls me more because it's more all natural. Um, so you guys, go check Lush out um, if you have a Lush in your area. If you don't have a Lush in your area, don't feel bad because guess what? They have a website. You can order their things on the website and voila, you got Lush coming to your home. So don't feel bad if you're in the Midwest or somewhere else because some of y'all, I wish we had a Lush here. That's why we have internet, y'all. You better order. Okay, so that was that. The next thing we have here. Okay, you guys, I am bummed about the Sugar Fina thing. So my sister, my mom, my son, and myself and I, we're traveling, we go eat. And I'm just telling y'all all throughout the day. Next stop, Sugarfina. I'm so happy. Because I've seen Sugarfina stores online. And it's an absolutely beautiful boutique. I just think it's so gorgeous. And there is an art piece that's on the wall. It's all white. And it's like 3D coming off the wall. And I think that's what I was really bummed about. Because I really wanted to see that. But thank God, you know, um, I'm going next week to a location where it's a walk-in store. So we're traveling all around. We're all in Santa Monica because you would think Santa Monica would have a storefront, right? Not. Okay, so we're asking and everything. So we call them. My sister calls them. She's like, yeah, you know, we're right here next to this and on this street and on this corner. Where's your sugar feed? And they're like, oh, it's inside the Nordstrom's. So I was thinking inside Nordstrom's. I said, but Nordstrom's a pretty big store. So maybe they have a little boutique in, with inside, nor, within Nordstrom's. So we're all, you know, walking around looking for it. We finally find it. My sister is just like, oh, you looking for sugar feet? I was like, yeah, there goes a wall. I was so hot, y'all. I'm like, are they serious? It is just a wall of sugar feet, just one little wall. So anyway, I got over it once I saw how pretty the candy is and the boxes are, were and everything. But I am going to take you guys to a sugar fiend next week. We're going to go to a store. But let me show you what I got. First of all, let's start off with the adorable little bag. Like you want to keep this forever, right? Look at the side. How cute. Look like fish scales, right? But pretty ones. Sugar fiend is written so pretty. Not only that, I love the color. It has that Tiffany blue. I do love the color. Okay, you guys. So let's go in first. So we bought this the other day. Well, yesterday was it yesterday or the day before it was one of them y'all and i have not allowed my sister and my son because they both bought one of these packages they can not you know taste taste it yet because i need to do this haul so they're very anxious to get their little um um candies in their mouth so that they can taste them but anyway this is what my sister purchased and this one is the uh frogs how cute i think what i love about sugar fina so much is that not only is it quality um because i did taste the rosettes what I love about it is that it's whimsical. 
and I mean who doesn't want to eat something so whimsical and not only whimsical but enchanting they're so cute even the little packages so these are the 250 bags in case you don't want to buy the cubes and I'm going to show you guys the cubes in just a minute this is the watermelon my son chose those and this was the 250 uh, test taster bags and you guys may be like I'm not paying 250 but you have to understand these candies come from Greece France Germany and they're made of the highest quality. It is quite pricey. Um, you can choose to go get your gummy bears from somewhere else but those of you who really want to try um, quality and just a, a higher end more um, better tasting candy just for once you don't have to do it all the time. Try it you guys. You, you know hey enjoy. So that is the froggies and this is the watermelon. Okay you guys and then this are the these are the cubes. Okay so oh, how cute are the cubes can we just say how cute these are first of all what I love about these is that even after you use the candy you can still use the cubes you can put staples in them you can use them on your desk you can even go get a refill and I just think that these are just really cute even in your office as you have like people come in you're doing negotiates negotiating business we're like hey have a little treat yeah this is from sugar finger so anyway you guys this one is this marshmallow s'mores fell in love with that I saw one girl online and she tried it I love s'mores it's summertime s'mores this is the time we all eat s'mores right and uh, she was like oh my god oh my god this is so good so I was like how bad could it be so this is a marshmallow ball and it is dipped in chocolate and then the little crumbs on the outside is graham crackers you guys and you know what she told me she said if you put it in the microwave nook it just for a quick second she was like, and it melts a little bit. Oh my God, it's so delicious. But me, I ain't got time for microwave, honey. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that one. The next one is the Champagne Bears. This is what is one of their most popular items, is the Champagne Bears. I just think these are really adorable. I love the dainty colors, you guys. And I just, they're, they're nice to give out at a baby shower. You can do like a... Um, 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 you know when a girl's getting wedding uh, married wedding when a girl's getting wedding y'all excuse that but when a girl's like a bridal shower a baby shower or just a birthday party how cute are these to hand out to your guest um, I just think that they're just adorable and the champagne bears are absolutely delicious you guys they have a very good flavor and both of these items were made in Germany yes oh I'm sorry so this one's Germany and then this one was made in the USA because you know what? I think s'mores is a, is 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 um, a, a, an American um, item. I don't know if anybody else in the other part of the country, if you guys had s'mores already, I don't know. But I know that Americans go crazy over s'mores. So anyway, you guys. So those were the four things that we got from Sugar Fina. They didn't have a large option. I was really bummed because there were some things that I wanted from France. They have these pineapple little treats, these little ice cream cones. Um, they didn't have those, but um, however, I will be taking you guys, like I said, this week, uh, next week, to uh, the Sugar Fina store, and so you guys can get a better look at what the Sugar Fina store looks like on the inside. Okay, you guys, so I did, let me see, I'm missing a bag of soaps. Yes, I am. Can you find that for me? A bag of soap. Okay, you guys, so, you know I was bummed about um, Bath and Body, I mean, Bath and Body Works. Is it Bath and Body Works? Yes, it is. Bath and Body Works. I was bummed about Bath and Body Works being out of the rosé, um, the, what is this called? Let me get it again. The rosé champagne, you guys, I was so bummed. I could not find this spray anywhere. So I looked on eBay and this girl was selling them where you get all three, you get the spray, you get the um, the lotion, the spray, and the body uh, soap. I haven't even opened them up yet, you guys. She sent them that quick. And I got the last two sets and they were only $26 for all three and I'm sorry I had to get them because they're not coming in anymore and you guys I fell so in love with this scent this scent was just my signature I, I'm telling you wherever I went people were like oh my god where are, what are you wearing and I'm like the rosé champagne and they're like oh my goodness that smells so good the rosé champagne my goodness my goodness it smells so good so even at work so I just said you know what I really fell in love with this and I want to you guys forgive me because I'm looking is it what did I do when I have, I went one more time, you guys can see, where I went into um, Bath and Body Works one more time, but forgive me. 
But anyway, so I got that off of eBay, you guys. So if you're looking for the rosé set and you can't find it anywhere, go to eBay. There's some people that even pay for the shipping and handling. All you have to do is just pay for the item. And maybe some some cases they'll do, because um, depending on what state you are, they do the taxes. But it's not that bad, you guys. So I was so happy I got the last two sets. Okay, moving on. So we went to the 99 cent store the other day. You guys, excuse me. Went to the 99 cent store the other day. And these are the items that I got from the 99 cent store. Okay, so I needed a bigger whisk. This, you guys, I was so surprised that the handle on this and it was a large whisk. I was like, what? I said, this this really looks good. 99 cents until I get the one that I really want. This can be what helps me right now. So I got that 99 cent. Also, um, let me show you. Oh, I have to show you guys these dove soaps. Can we close that door just a little bit? Because I have all of this. Can we close that door just a little bit? Mm -hmm. You guys, excuse me. Okay, so we were in the 99 cent store the other day. I'm sorry, we were in the 99 cent store the other day, and you guys, okay, so I usually use the uh, bottle of this uh, scent, and when I saw it in the uh, bar form, I was like, you guys, I gotta get that. So I bought three of these, all three of these, and then my sister got one. And then I got the uh, Shea Butter, Shea Butter, Butter, Shea, whatever. That one? Yes, all 99 cents, y'all. Dove, Dove is good. Okay, and another thing I got, I showed you guys that I got these hogs. I like to take these all throughout the summer, because let me tell y'all a secret, if those of you who don't know. Before it starts getting cold, you got to start building your immune system now. So what I like to do is I eat a lot of citrus, I take a lot of good vitamins, and also I drink a lot of water. And also, these little things right here, and um, what else is that? I, the other one I take, where you uh, take the little bag and pour it in, I use that too. I forgot what it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about, but right now, this is what I got. Um, these are really, really good, um, just to keep vitamin C in your, and they're anti, antioxidants, vitamin C, just to keep your immune system up, you guys, you know, people are coughing everywhere, you want to keep your immune system up, so that's that. Oh, thank you, yes. And then, let's see what we have here. I saw this the other day, and I'm all about, you know, summertime we got to keep our feet up, and so I saw this foot cream, pure Epsom salt foot cream and it's in spearmint and I was just like that sounds so refreshing so I'm gonna try this and see how it works anyway it was only 99 cents I'm telling you that 99 cents for it really helps you out okay oh and then I got this dove bar also yeah those are people I think I only got four I think I got two of the mm, I got two of that pair but I can show them one I don't need to show both of them Okay, and then this is the Fresh Touch also, you guys. This is a smaller bar, but um, this one is the Fresh Touch. Go Fresh Scent Fresh Touch. That's really good if you're traveling. You're out and you're out and you're traveling. You can take these little bars with you. Okay, and then this is the Fructis um, Style Sleek and Shine Sleek Primer Style Prep um, with Argon Oil from Morocco. Preps, protects, and extends smooth styles. And it's also, they said it's good for your ends. So, you guys... I got that. Um, let's see how that. Let me see how it smells. Usually, fruit tea smells pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, it smells really good. Mhm. Mm but this is my thing. I'm wondering. It was supposed to have a squirt top. I know that. Anyway, I'll take it anyway because the top did just show that it was new. By the way, it cracked open. Okay, so I got that from the 99 cent store. Oh, and then I got this Oil Valet bar because you know Oil Valet is a really good brand. It's really good for your body. It has um, moisture, hydration. I've always liked the shade, and this is the Shea Butter one. Um, I always like the Oil Valet uh, soaps. It's one of my favorite soaps. I don't like soaps too much. I really don't use soaps, but Dove and Oil Valet have a good history with me, and they've never really dried out my skin. They've always uh, really do good, but I don't put no soap on my face, so I hope you guys are not doing that. Okay, and then last but not least, what we got from there was this deodorant, Arm and Hammer, you guys. 
deodorant all from the 99 cent store so that's a small 99 cent store haul and let me show you the two teas that i got i did not get them from the 99 cent store i got these from walmart because i'm back in the blueberry tea slim down i got this one you guys if you get a matcha tea bag usually costco carries the matcha tea bags um what i do is i mix a matcha and i mix the blueberry together this one and I do lemon and a little bit of honey, you guys, and put it in the refrigerator or you can drink it hot, whatever your choice is. You guys, delicious, okay? And then this one is the one my sister got because she makes a peach mango uh, tea. You can use any kind of tea. She just chose peach mango. I mean, how delicious does that sound? But I can't wait to taste this. She mixes it with kale and drinks it. So, I mean, let's try that. Uh, kale, yes, we all need kale. We need green in our body. So, with the tea, I'm a little like, ah, but we're going to try it and see. It can't be. Not everything that's good for you is delicious, though. Not everything that's good for you is delicious, right? So, we need, our body needs nutrients and everything. So, I can't wait to see what that tastes look like with the kale. If any of you have tried it with kale, let me know. Okay, so that is the Blueberry Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life by Yogi. And then this one is the Peach Mango, which sounds ridiculous, with, uh, by Lipton Tea. We all know Lipton is old school. And I got these from Walmart, okay, you guys? Because at the grocery store, they're like five bucks at the grocery store. This is only three. 50 at Walmart, I believe. It's three something. And then this was uh, like, I believe, two something. But this is like $5 in my grocery store. I'm like, you guys need to get it together. Like, Walmart is right around the corner. Did you know how they price theirs? Get it together. Okay, so last but not least, I saw these cute little mittens at Walmart also. Aren't they cute? I just love the design. Yes, I hate that they don't have left and right, so I have to turn one around the other way. But aren't they cute? Very, very cute. And guess how much they cost? Mm hmm. 88 cents y'all i'm not playing these are 88 cents okay just for your everyday cute little whatever those were really cute okay you guys another thing that i have here uh bath and body works i went in the other day because <laughs> you know guys know i heard today is the last day for the 75 percent off that lasts for the whole month of june which was phenomenal because i got so many soaps hand soaps body soaps so many things you guys and they were only three bucks 350 some of them were five dollars that were regular 16 i mean what a deal uh hats off to bath and body works that was such a blessing to give that to our um to your customers that discount for a whole month 75 percent and sometimes you guys had ten dollars off of 30 and then I got 20% off of this. The last day was the other day. I believe it was Friday. Well, I got 20% off extra off of this. So let me tell you what I have here. This is the Pear Blossom, y'all. The Pear Blossom is incredible. And I had never seen this in there. So they were pulling things out that had been, I guess, retired. And they brought them back out. Y'all, this Pear Blossom, I can't imagine what the spray would smell like. But I got that. I got really two of these. But I'm like, I don't need to show you both. So I'm just going to show you this one, two of these, and this smells phenomenal, and this is a body shower gel, okay? The next one I have here is the Tiki Mango Mai Tai. I do have some of these, so I went and got more because I do love the tropical scent, summer, tropical. I like tropical year-round, though, y'all. But, yeah, I did get it more so because it was in the summer. And then this one is the Golden Magnolia, and this one smells phenomenal, very, very pretty. And that is a shower gel as well. And let me show y'all up close more. Okay, so that's that one. And then this is the pear one. And then this is the tiki mango. And then last but not least, you can never go wrong. My favorite scent of all times is limoncello. Because I'm a lemon fanatic. I like anything citrus. It's clean. It's always just lemon never you never go wrong with lemon in anything never i don't care if it's something you eat something you you you, you spray on your body you clean in your house using real lemons to clean in your house lemon is just a blessing from god lemons are just so good and they do so much okay you guys so that is the limoncello and that is the shower gel and you guys i hate to see that sale go out but yes the sale is done okay so i think that that's everything is that all that we have here let me look around. I think that's all that I showed y'all. Um, I did show you where I went back to a bath and body. Um, no, I'm sorry. Where I went back to a soup plantation. 
and that was a new location it wasn't the one you saw in another video this location that I went to was in a city called Silver Lake and that one I absolutely loved it. it everything was so delicious the other one was good too but this one was just the atmosphere and just everything was so and it was a new one I had never been I, I like going to new places or new locations of a favorite restaurant that you like because it just it gives you a better a, not better just gives you a different atmosphere so and there's a Costco there that I'm going to be checking out soon too okay you guys so this summer I have a lot of things coming up a lot of more little travelings locally um, nothing out of state yet but locally and uh, my sister will be here for a little while so we're gonna be having a lot of fun and you guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I do want to tell you continue to keep God first continue to focus pray whatever issues you're going through in your life whatever hardships you're having let me tell you we all always have challenges there's never a time where your life is just completely gonna just be smoothly you're always gonna have challenges you're always gonna have hardships um, and then what's a blessing is that you have breakthroughs God come through and and and, and those things break you know not all the time there's a hardship always last you know a lot of times those things that we go through in our lives is very hard is for growth spiritual growth um, draw closer to the Lord because I'm telling you if you don't draw closer to the Lord and trust Christ and, and trust God in your life you're going to continue to experience that hardship because guess why we can't fix it the only one who can help us walk through the situation is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he is the only one that can get you through and this is the thing a lot of people don't know that and that's why I want to tell you for those of you who don't know that are watching my channel and you can say well how do you know that because he has brought me through some major major challenges hardships struggles I can only give you an example or I get I can only give you my I can only tell you because I've experienced it myself I'm not gonna tell you anything that I have not experienced because how can somebody tell you anything when they've never experienced if you haven't experienced God how would you know I've experienced him he saved me multiple 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 many 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 times but I tell you this is the blessing about the entire thing is that prayer we can take anything to God in prayer I don't care what you have done what crime you have committed what you have done that you know was wrong how you have treated somebody I don't care what it is you know what you've done wrong and you can go to God in prayer and God will bless you to get through it and when I say bless you get through it people say so God will fix it overnight no God will fix you where you did what you were doing did it happen overnight yes some of them did and you had to reap what you sow or let's see consequences let's use that word okay so if you put I say a plate in your life you put you can put good things on your plate or bad things on your plate or you can put a mixture as humans we all have mixtures on our plates so when you put things on your plate that you know God is not pleased with and you do it anyway you will have to face the consequences this is what's so good about our Heavenly Father is that even in our consequences he is still merciful and is full of grace and mercy that he walks us through those consequences this is the thing that we need to get it is as God is walking us through and allowing because sometimes he'll allow tough times to come because that is what makes us draw closer to him to let us know we need him because we are humans we were born arrogant and wanted to go our own direction you don't want to follow the word of God that's why a lot of people don't because it's just like it's boring I don't want to follow this and that but you have to understand there's consequences that you have to face when you when you go against God's will but what's loving and kind is that what Jesus did on the cross? Forgiveness. And when we go to him and ask for repentance, and we genuinely say, Lord, I'm sorry, and you genuinely mean it in your heart, because he knows if you do or don't. That, isn't that wonderful? You can go say, Lord, forgive me. And if you don't mean it, he already know you don't mean it. So stop faking. Go to God, genuinely repent of your sins, not to some box, not to some person, you go to God. He is the only one that can forgive you for your sins because that's what Jesus did on the cross. So that that is allowed to us. And then what's beautiful is the forgiveness. What's beautiful is his grace and his mercy and then restoration, how he restores us. But we have to pay attention to him and stay on that road and not go back and want to go do the thing that we just asked him to forgive us for. 
if you genuinely are asking God forgive and you want change in your life to see your future better, then you've got to say, I'm done. You got to drop the people you need to stop being around that you know are not doing anything for you. Drop those bad habits that you know you're doing that is not of God. You know what's not of God. And the world today is just like, well, that's just human nature. To do. No. When you do deliberate sin, it goes against God's will. No. And guess what? We have all done deliberate sin. Nobody's perfect. I'm not sitting up here. I've done all my sins. I'm perfectly clean now. No. Okay? I constantly have to ask God to forgive me. Constantly. And it could be for, but it's not for things that I know deliberately is just like, you know, I'm just going to go do this. No, I may say something about somebody because somebody did something. I may, and I say, Lord, help me, forgive me because I don't want to have that kind of attitude. That's one thing I'm asking God to work with me on right now because people are now, people today are not respectful about your space. They're not cordial. They're not kind. They're not hospitable. They're not, you know, people are not like that. They don't talk face to face anymore. People are just always looking down and, or they're just in your space. And that irritates me. But the Lord had to let me know, don't let something so small get you in a stank. I call it a stank uh, mode. And I told y'all that in the last video. So we have to watch it constantly every single day. But this is what's so wonderful. We serve a God that is forgiving, that is loving, and that is kind and wants a personal relationship with you. And that could only have been done through his son, Jesus Christ, the one that went on the cross for us, for our sins. And so that we're able to have a personal relationship with our Savior and with our Heavenly Father God. And you guys, he's waiting for you. And however long it takes, you don't have, I'm not pulling you and saying, you guys, I'm not, you don't have to. But this is the thing, he still loves you, doesn't matter. He still loves you. But you will need to before it gets too late because a time is going to come where, where are you going? Heaven or to hell, the bad place. That's hell is real, y'all. Heaven is real. These places, this is not a book like Lord of the Rings. This is real because you don't want to get caught saying, I remember when you're in a bad place separated from God. I remember when that was told to me and why didn't I listen? And that's why on my vlogs is very important. I don't force anybody, but I pray for every single one of you that your heart will lean toward even just wanting to just tap into. Let me just see what she's talking about. Let me just try. I'm not forcing you to, but I love you. Jesus loves you, and I'm doing this. Sorry, you guys, my camera went out. But like I was saying, I love the Amplified Bible because it really breaks down what each scripture says okay there is a lot of different versions of the bible out there and some of them you have to be careful because a lot of things were taken out a lot of things um um it, it you don't want to get it where it's too watered down where it's just it's it you it's too simple okay you guys but the amplified is very very good i love the amplified so you want to get your king james version based and if you need understanding because king james version is the vowels and the this and that and sometimes it's hard to um, um, not understand. Make sure you get it with the Amplified Bible, okay, you guys? Um, so, and I'm going to be telling you, um, I told you I was going to do a video on my daily readings on what I read. But the base of, I do read other readings like Our Daily Bread and I read In Touch Magazine. But what's most important that you need to read, most important foremost, is the Word of God. Because so many people have different books out there, different things out there, and they have, they they have books that are inspired by the word of God where they tell you what scriptures to go to. Be careful about those books because a lot of them, there are some good ones, but you want to make sure you're reading an author that is deeply rooted in the word of God and is not trying to do it for self-promotion, okay? So you guys be careful with that. But um, like I was saying, King James Version, Amplified Bible, you can get some Bibles that are like King James Version Amplified together, but you might have to get them separate because it's hard to find that. Um, and uh, just get, just try the Bible. Just get into it. Just try it. It is an absolutely beautiful story, truth, triumph, fail. Um, um, it's, you, it's, 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 um, it's an amazing, and everything from the beginning of time all the way up, it always it was all about Jesus. It was all about the Son of God coming here. And then the rest, y'all need to read. Revelations, all of that stuff. That's way down the line. But you guys, just pick up the Bible and just start. And just say, you know what? I just want to give it a chance. Let me just read it. Just start. Psalms and Proverbs is really good to read, too, as you're reading the Bible. Um, from Genesis. Start in Genesis. And, you know, a lot of people start in January. That's a thing. I don't like doing that because... 
God didn't take his word like that to say, well, you guys need to start in January and keep up. You can start any day. Just like you can pray anytime. You can go to God anytime. Don't put a time span or a schedule on God's word. Okay? It is your personal intimate relationship with him and him alone. Okay? So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed Journey with Shar, this vlog. And you guys, please be blessed. I am praying for you. Those of you who have loved ones that are sick, sick children. Um, if you are having a struggle with finding a job, homelessness, um, if you're having a problem getting rid of a bad addiction, um, uh, or maybe something in your childhood is still affecting you, I'm praying that you go to God. That's how he helped me. Y'all, I went through some hell. And I'm, that's not a curse word, hell. Hell, okay? In my childhood, I went through a lot of bad stuff. And God got me where I am today. It was him that got me here. So that's why I'm telling y'all, trust him. Trust his son, Jesus. And his Holy Spirit is not a joke neither. He is the one that's in us here on this earth. The Holy Spirit. So you guys, get in that word and trust him. And he will come and he will comfort you. He will give you peace. But you got to want it. You got to take that, break that wall, knock it down. And you got to say, Lord, here I am. Take me as I am. That's what I did. And let me tell y'all, it has been a blessing. And let me tell you, Christianity, Christian, and you know what I say? People's like, Christianity is Christianity. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and I am a Christian and I am a follower of Jesus Christ that's who I follow all right he is my Savior he is everything without him I am nothing what he did on that cross is not a joke and I don't take it for granted and that's why I want to share his love with you guys okay so I'll see you soon and I hope you guys have a good fourth I may do something before the fourth or right after the fourth but I know I do have um, another video These, this video is gonna be split up in two possibly because it's kind of long um, you guys but I hope you enjoy it. and if you like me please give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you like me and also you guys leave a message I love hearing from you guys okay stay safe stay cool because this summer is hot and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching with Journey with Shar. And you guys have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.